hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you how to type preset and i'll provide you that preset down only in my video description so let's start the tutorial if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so i have some stock image i downloaded those images from dancesplash.com and i'll provide you that download link in my video description for your practice purpose so at first i'm just uh, taking this demo image press ctrl or command j and you'll get the copy of this layer and then we'll edit this one give the name uh, like uh, edit and then go to the filter camera filter so this camera filter is another plugins of the photoshop like lightroom and you are getting all the panel like lightroom and you can edit like that so if you don't have this camera filter or you if you want to update your camera filter like 13.0.2 please check out my video description i just given the download link camera filter over there so here is small menu go to the load settings options i made a preset for you guys which is the outdoor and load it up so instant change you're getting so let's discuss about the changes what i have given over there and here the basic options the basic temperature that is minus 4 and the tint minus 15 and the exposure plus 25 contrast plus 52 highlights minus 26 shadow plus 24 whites plus 1 and blacks minus 21 and the clarity i made the clarity down and if you want you can make it zero it's totally up to you and you have the assumption to change it out so totally up to you and the vibrance that is the plus 4 and the saturation plus 4 and after that go to the curves from here you are getting the curves like that the input value that is 255 and output value 242 and the input value of this curve and the this point 196 and output value 183 and here input value 116 and output value 105 and input value 41 output value 43 and over there input value 6 and output value 33 that's good and here the detailing options the sharpening that is 67 and noise reduction 31 and the color noise reduction that is 25 that's good and color mixture most important thing for the photo editing here the hue which color will be it defines with the hue and saturation percentage of the color it defines with the saturation and the luminance intensity of the color when you are using any color over here from the hue panel and here the luminance if you define or increase the color it will just giving you the color like that the saturation percentage if you want you can control the percentage of the color over there and here the hue red hue 0 and saturation minus 37 and luminance 100 plus 100 actually here the orange the hue minus 13 and yellow minus 60 green minus plus 62 and the aqua that is 69 and the blue minus 9 saturation minus 37 orange minus 21 and yellow minus 26 and the green minus 80 and aqua plus 45 and blue that is plus 25 and here the red luminance i just increased that things earlier and that is 100 and orange plus 22 and the yellow plus 8 green minus 4 aqua plus 50 and the blue 15 that's good going to the color grading options here the shadow shadow color tone the color code that is 2 to 1 sometimes you don't get this like panel like that in that case just click the triangle you will get the expansion of that that is 2 to 1 for the hue and the saturation 18 and you can adjust the luminance with that and here is the balance and other stuffs that's good and the mid-tone if you want you can add some mid-tone color i didn't use that but if you need you can use that it's totally up to you the color of the mid-tone that is 173 and the saturation 10 that's good and the highlights that is 51 for the hue and the saturation 23 that's good and the optics geometry i didn't use over there the effects the vignetting minus 11 for the effects and the calibration here the hue primary that is 47 actually minus 47 and the saturation plus 4 and the blue primary minus 26 that's all for the settings and hit the ok button so one thing is that if you want to apply this preset in your image the light and other stuff uh, it wouldn't be like that so what is the solution if you uh, use the different colors image for the these 
like a preset here i have another totally another type of uh, like photo which is not uh, too much greenery or other stuff and in this image if i apply that preset how you will control that so i just imported this one press ctrl or command j and make another copy of this layer go to the filter and camera filter and same things go to the load settings options and import that things so you are getting these things but in this image you are getting too much red over there for that things you have to increase the exposure a little bit up and from here the vibrance you have to make it a little bit down and the from the color mixture the saturation of the red you should make it a little bit down now this one is the like a moderated version the before and after you are getting the things and hit the ok button so this one is the technique to use the uh, like preset when i am providing that preset i am showing the example image and your image is not same just because of the color and uh, uh, other stuffs is uh, not same this is the natural things and in that case you have better assumption to change it out and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon and don't forget to give my credit line when you are using my preset in your photographs so that's all for today give me in your prayers stay safe stay at home i'm signing out today bye bye